This video will cover a class two amalgam restoration on tooth number 29 DO. First, assemble your armamentarium as shown in this illustration. Prior to beginning the restoration procedure, review the preparation procedure checklist and evaluate the preparation for adequate dimensions. Place the Toffelmeyer matrix band around the tooth. Ensure that the matrix band rises approximately one millimeter over the marginal ridge. Secure the matrix band by placing a wedge in the buccal and lingual embrasures. Insert the wedge from the lingual using your forceps. Burnish the matrix band against the adjacent tooth in the contact area using your ball burnisher or amalgam condenser. Tritrate the amalgam capsule for approximately seven to nine seconds for according to the amalgam manufacturer's instructions. Properly tritrated amalgam should have a homogeneous consistency. Open the amalgam capsule and place the tritrated amalgam into an amalgam well or onto a circular cloth. Use both sides of the amalgam carrier to pick up the amalgam. Remember, work swiftly with amalgam as it sets fairly quickly. Extrude the amalgam from the amalgam carrier into the most gingival area of the preparation. Use the smallest condenser to vertically and laterally compress amalgam into the preparation. Begin condensing in the proximal box and be sure to apply sufficient force when condensing amalgam. Use the amalgam carrier and condenser to incrementally fill and compress amalgam into the preparation. Slightly overfill the preparation with amalgam. Use the largest amalgam condenser when the amalgam fill reaches the occlusal surface. Firmly burnish amalgam with the round end of the burnisher. Use the explorer tip at a 45 degree angle to the matrix band to remove excess amalgam from the marginal ridge. Now, carefully remove the matrix band. The first step is to loosen the short swivel to release the matrix band from the matrix band holder. Then, remove the interproximal wedge with forceps, and then remove the matrix band from the opposite side of the proximal box. Lightly hold down the amalgam with an instrument and carefully remove the remaining portion of the matrix band in the buccal occlusal or lingual occlusal direction. Be careful, removing the matrix band in the occlusal direction may dislodge the restoration. Now, carve anatomy into the restoration. Remove excess amalgam from the proximal aspect and any overhang at the gingival margin. Develop occlusal anatomy by guiding your instrument along the remaining tooth structure to create developmental grooves and correct cuspal inclines. Instrument options include your acorn burnisher, cleoid discoid, or hollenback carver. Ensure that the marginal ridge is rounded and the height of the marginal ridge is consistent with that of the adjacent tooth. Now, burnish the margin circumferentially using your small ball burnisher. Use floss to check the proximal contact. Floss in the gingival direction and pull the floss laterally through the embrasure to avoid dislodging the restoration before it has fully set. Clean and smooth the surface of the restoration with a wet cotton pellet. Remove the isolation. Using articulating paper, check the occlusion. Areas that need to be adjusted will mark heavily with the articulating paper. Adjust these areas where the restoration is high using your amalgam carver or cleoid discoid. After the amalgam has set according to the manufacturer's instructions, it is optional to polish the restoration. Smooth the surface with duragreen polishing burr or brownie polishing burr using rotary instruments slow speed. Then, shine the surface with a greeny polishing burr using rotary instruments slow speed. Finally, clean and dry your restoration and examine the restoration for a smooth transition between tooth structure and restorative material, as well as accurate occlusal and proximal anatomy. Refer to the checklist to help evaluate your restoration. Thanks for watching.